Brian and Tara, today you will marry your best friend. The one you laugh with and cry with. The one that you've learned from and shared with. The one that you've chosen to support and encourage and give yourself to all the days of your life. Today, you will marry the one that you love. And Brian and Tara want to welcome all of you to this celebration of their love for each other. Each of you has given something very special to their lives, and your love and encouragement will forever be appreciated. Thank you for sharing one of life's happiest moments with them, and may you be as an important part of their tomorrows as you are of their todays. Brian and Tara, today we're surrounded by your family and friends. All their who are gathered to not only witness this ultimate exchange of love, but to support you on your life journey. Marriage is not just the union of two people in love, it's also the joining of two families, two sets of friends, and two patterns of life. And we are also joined here today by our loved ones who watch over us from above, especially Tara's grandparents, Sal and Bertha Fromm, and Jerome and Pearl Helcott, Brian's grandparents, Joseph and Kathleen Dugan, and Vincent and Dorothy Austin, as well as their friends, Samantha Cohn and Eddie Duchin. Know that they are here today and will be with you all of your days. And to the parents of Brian and Tara, when I met with your children prior to the wedding, they stressed how important it was for you to know how much they appreciated all of your years of unconditional love for them. And they're so grateful to have met each other. And they realize that their own capacity to love and to be loved was shaped by you, their parents. And in your honor, Brian and Tara would like you to come up so that they can present you with these roses. that are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands, and it's remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It's finding ways of keeping that courtship alive. It's standing together, facing the world. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is not expecting one person to wear a halo, or the other, the wings of an angel. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It's about cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, gratitude, and a sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and to forget, and it's giving each other an atmosphere in which one can grow. Marriage is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. And you must not only marry the right partner, but be the right partner as well. About a year and a half ago, when Tara was still single, she was doing some self-reflection on what she was looking for in a life partner. She thoughtfully wrote down each characteristic and then put them out into the universe in order to manifest what she wanted. She'd been on a number of dating sites for years and had never had much luck, but she always had hope. And when Brian reached out to her and sent her a wink, for those of you that don't know, that's online speak. <laughs> she wasn't, she didn't really put too much stock into it. But she thought, hey, why not? I'll reach back and send them a uh, hello. And so... And <laughs> <laughs> <That's what happened>. <laughs> 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 oh. 
So the internet is where their journey began. But Tara and Brian both knew that this was only a medium. And it was really the universe that had brought them together. After many flirtatious texts and several great phone conversations, Brian and Tara arranged to meet at a restaurant in Manhattan. And once they met face to face, neither of them could deny that chemistry between them. As they both recall, they connected so well, and they felt as though they had already known each other, yet there was so much to still be discovered. And after their second date, they noticed that there was something very special. Tara then went away on a yoga retreat to Tulum, and her relationship continued despite the distance. And Brian never held back feelings for Tara from the beginning, and he even told her that he loved her during this time. And to Tara's amazement, she actually felt the same. And even though logically it was sudden, it didn't feel that way in their hearts. Brian and Tara's feelings were not only brought on by a delusion, disillusion of sudden passion, or what poets refer to as temporary madness, Rather, their hearts had recognized one another. And the love that they felt in those early days has only continued to grow. Without having to try, there's this balance between them. If one's down, the other one brings them up. And they naturally care and support each other. And one of the things that they both value is the way that they communicate openly, honestly, and respectfully. They have complete trust and faith in one another and that they'll do the right thing as they motivate each other to be the best versions of themselves. It did not take long for Tara to realize that Brian embodied the characteristics in her perfect partner that she had put out there into the universe. His thoughtfulness, his sensitivity, his sense of humor, his caring and kind ways. And if that weren't enough, he always makes Tara feel amazing, putting her at the center of his world. But if you ask Brian, though, he'll tell you that he's the lucky one. Not only is Tara beautiful, but she's thoughtful and caring and full of personality and has a great sense of humor. What is extra special is that Brian and Tara's relationship, in addition to the closeness that they share, they also harbor a special connection to each other's family. They are both so grateful to be welcomed and accepted by such a loving group of people. There was never any doubt in Tara and Brian's mind that that universe had sent them each together. And they were in fact soulmates. So on September 21st, 2017, during a picnic in Central Park, Brian asked Tara to be his wife. And of course she said yes, because there was no one else that she would rather experience life with. He's everything that she ever wanted to partner. And Brian and Tara, may your connection to each other only grow as you delight in learning new things about each other and yourselves. Continue to work together to accomplish all of your goals, and may you find peace in your home that you create with one another. And decades from now, may others admire your marriage and see it as a source of inspiration. So Brian, do you take Tara as your wife? Yes. Do you... Do you promise to love and cherish her, to grow with her and have faith in your journey together through all the changes that will come? Do you promise to share your life and all that you are with her? I do. <laughs> Tara, do you take Brian as your husband? Do you promise to love and cherish him, to grow with him and to have faith in your journey together through all the changes that will come? And do you promise to share your life and all that you are with him? 
And as a sign of their love for each other, Brian and Tara have chosen to write their own vows. <laughs> to Tara. You look so beautiful today. I am so honored to begin this journey in my life with you. I promise I will always be there for you. You will always have my love, and you always, you never will have to face this world alone. Together, we, we can conquer any obstacles that come our way. I will love and cherish you for the rest of my life. Since the first day I met you, I knew that we would be married, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, my love, when I thought about the man I was going to marry, I couldn't have imagined anyone more perfect for me than you. Your thoughtfulness, your selflessness, your strength, your empathy, how affectionate and loving you are, and that you have never been afraid to show it. The way you truly see me for me and appreciate all that I am and all that I am not. How you think that the little things I do are amazing. And you always make sure to tell me so by saying in your adorable way, how cute are you? <laughs> <laughs> or when I tell you that I love you, you always say that you love me more and always will. I have been looking for you for a long time, but I know now that you had to come to me when the time was right. I needed to have faith first, and I needed to believe that someone as amazing as you could ever exist. I knew it was you on our second date. The connection, the comfort, and the joy I felt was unlike any other. Thank you for coming into my life and showing me what love could truly be like. I know that with marriage there will be ups and downs, but I wouldn't want to go through any of that with anyone other than you. I stand here before our friends and family, and I can say that I've never been more sure about anything that I am about wanting to marry you. I feel, I feel calm and at ease. I feel fulfilled and I definitely feel unconditional love. I found a quote that speaks to the unconditional love that you have for me and it could never be more true. It says, I saw that you were perfect and so I loved you. Then I saw that you were not perfect and I loved you even more. I promise to love you as unconditionally as you do me, to listen, to be patient, to be accepting and forgiving. I promise to grow with you over the years as individuals and as a couple, and I promise to never go to bed with anger in my heart. I love you so much and I am honored to be able to call you my husband. The only thing left to say, or rather gesture, is what you always communicate to me in the most adorable way. <laughs> oh, wait, are we doing Not ready. Oh, no. Now, take each other's hands and know the gift that they are to each of you. <laughs> These are the hands of your best friends, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding you on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside of you, as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish through, through all your years, and with the slightest touch, will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear and grief fill your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe away tears from your eyes, both tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled with age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch.
You're about to give each other a ring. And the wedding ring is a symbol of many things. It's precious metal that symbolizes that marriage is precious and enduring. It's a perfect circle that shows that love is given freely and without end. And you have chosen to exchange matching rings as a representation that this marriage is that of equals. And just as these rings have no point in weakness, may your union be strong and may you be blessed with joy on your journey together, surrounded by a circle of love. Tara, I give you this ring. Tara, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol for my love for you. And just as this band. As just as this band. Encircles my finger. Encircles my finger. May it always. I'm sorry. May you always feel encircled. May you always feel encircled. By my love. By my love. Brian, I give you this ring. Brian, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. And just as this band. And just as this band. Encircles your finger. Encircles your finger. May you always feel. May you always feel. Encircled by my love. Encircled by my love. Although you are two distinct people, both representing the dignity of the other. You have chosen to unite your lives and to seek your happiness together. Your individual joy will be all the greater because you share it. And your individual fulfillment will be all the more stronger because it rests in the fulfillment of each other. And we've come to the moment in the service when you will share a cup of wine, not just once, but twice to honor both of your heritages. In the culture of the Jewish people, wine is a symbol of happiness. Take this cup and drink the wine as your affirmation to your hope and future, a future that welcomes the dreams that you will make real. May the sun bring new energy by day, and may the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away all of your worries, and may you live your days and your lives in peace and happiness. And as Brian and Tara hold hands and break a glass underfoot, they'll remove that last barrier of their union. And as they crush the glass, I ask everyone here to respond in the unison Jewish words of congratulatory words of Mazel Tov. And then, Brian, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> and with this promise and declaration of love, it is my pleasure to run accordance with the laws of New York and by the virtue of authority vested in me by the state of New York to now pronounce you husband and wife.
join the bridal party at the cocktail hour now. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening.